what is going on you guys kenny valdez back at again with another video so the card that i have in front of me is a card that uh got a lot of views when we did the uh install of the exhaust um i thought it was, i'd post a video of like a little update on the car two years later um here it is it is now on volk te 37 sls 18 by 10s and fortune auto coilovers and he did a lot of a couple other minor things like the jdm what is it called fog light it's not really a fog light bezel bezel yeah all right fog light bezel so this all lights up it's a led lighting um which is pretty cool anything else you did to the car since uh the last time they saw uh, g lower control arm lower control arm so yeah um i'll try to get a a view of that Yep, got the lower control arms, rear sway bar, um, and then the Fortune Autos. That's about it. And also, I forgot to mention, he is on Indy 500s, Firestone, Trackhawks. All right. Is that what it's called, G? Yep. Indy 500 Trackhawks from Firestone. That's for a tire setup. And then for a tire size, he is a 255-35-18. So... Oh, and then the strut tower that he added the Perrin, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Perrin? Yep, Perrin st uh, strut tower. And then now we're going to be installing a nice little Grim Speed air filter. So for the people who don't know um, how to install it, it's <laughs> it's super, super simple. Um, pretty much it's a layout like this. Put that back to you. Yeah, there we go. I should have recorded it earlier, but I forgot. So... Here it is so you take out the two little clips there's one here there's one here just pop those out um then after that move this out the way and then you got the uh plug here just unplug this boom and then bada bing bada boom oh and then also there's a bracket, bracket a 10 mil bracket that you got to remove that goes right in there yep one two three yep so here you go so yeah, that's that's about it. And then just to install, just do everything in reverse. I'm recording the video here. <laughs> My mom's giving me food. Gotta love it when you're back home. But anyways, I'll let uh, G kind of explain everything else. Here you go, G. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm not a YouTube guy. What are you doing? You pretty much covered it off. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll make it. All right, so we just slid in the Drycon air filter back in. All we gotta do is put on the clips, install the sensor back, put the bracket in, slide in the bolts, and pop back in this air duct, and that should be it. We're all set. Alright, we're going to move on to the interior of the car. I'm going to re replace this uh, armrest. So, this is the original armrest that came with the car. Um, this one I bought off Subi Speed. Uh, it came with a leather uh, cover for it. And then I went ahead and swapped it out for this Alcantara one. But for whatever reason, it doesn't close that easily. And never liked it ever since. Um, so, I went ahead and picked up after two years i have picked up the jdm armrest which is a little bit more expensive but it's jdm and who doesn't like jdm and it should probably more than likely fix this issue that i'm dealing with plus it looks nicer and i get to put on the original armrest that came padded and in my opinion is a much cleaner look 
than this one. So that one's more padded than the USDM one? Yeah, yeah, it is, definitely. Definitely. And another thing you forgot to mention is that I think there's like an extra like storage or a compartment that's different from the USDM one to the JDM one. Um, right. Oh, nice. This is the storage space that it comes with. This one doesn't come with any. All it is is you get the original one that comes with the center console itself. Yeah, so there's that. And last but not least, since you guys seen the last video of this car, he also installed a cartboard short throw shifter, which feels really nice, super notchy. Um, yeah, definitely no complaints there. All right, so I grabbed this little plastic tool, uh, make this a little bit easier to pop out. Boom. There are, there is a retaining screw there that you gotta remove. There it goes. And then boom, it'll expose these three. All I gotta do is unscrew these and the whole arm rest should pop right out. There it is. There if my camera would focus, there it goes. So yeah, this one has like a lot more padding in it. All right. Which is nice. Then all you gotta do is use two of the supplied screws to secure this. Pop in the plastic trim piece and then do everything in reverse and you're all set. Easy as one, two, three, baby. Nice little JDM touch there. So You're excited for this? Yeah. <laughs> Hurting your elbows? What? No. <laughs> Why are you so excited for it? I'm just, it's a new new part. Alright. Alright, so then all you gotta do is take the uh, supplied plastic trim and pop that in place. Use the screws. Secure it down. Pop this in here. Would you look at that? Now pop in the uh, screw that goes into there. And this plastic trim piece and you're all set. Boom. Install is complete. Look at that. Nice. All right, time to feel the horsepower gains. Oh, forgot the seat belt. Safety first. Time to feel the gains. Whole five horsepower difference. Oh, no, nine horsepower. According to Giovanni, I don't know how much it is exactly, but it's not about the gains. They say you get more of a forced induction noise coming out of the intake when you put on this Grim Speed Drycon air filter. Like a blow up valve kind of yeah. uh, 
I don't know if it's gonna come out in video or anything like that, but I definitely do hear it a little bit. Somebody was shaking Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. A fake SI. Nice. So, take another peek at the STI. So, yeah, here it is, guys. My brother's 2019 WRX STI. I guess the whole point of this video was to show a little update on it. For anybody who was wondering how to install those parts, I guess, too. But, um, yeah, this thing's coming out sick. This is exactly the way he envisioned the car. I still believe he has to go lower in the front, but, hey... He lives in Massachusetts. It's uh, not the greatest state to be in to drive low cars, but I think he'll be all right. All right, Giovanni, is there is there anything else you, you're gonna be doing to the STI? No, not really. This is, for the most part, exactly how I want it for now. Okay. Maybe, maybe get some center caps done. Yeah, he's right. missing the center caps. As you guys know, whoever buys TEs, they don't come with center caps. That you have to buy separately, and Giovanni's going to be on the hunt for some center caps. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. All right. For now. Next up, my dad. My dad is going to allow me to touch the Corvette today. Uh, he's looking to put an alternator cover on, so if you guys know my dad, my dad doesn't like anybody touching his car if it's not a certified technician from Chevy, so it's pretty, uh, pretty funny that he's allowing me to touch it. He's grew some confidence in me, so, but anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.